The 150 mil challenge, as we go through this challenge, I'm going to start talking about what it is exactly. But this is a piece of 20 square mile steel, and I'm going to get it in the fire. It's 150 millimeters in length, or just under six inches in length.
Okay, a little bit of fun. Um, just having a bit of a mess around this 150mm challenge. Uh, that's the slug. That turned out really lovely. Um, and 150mm of 20mm um, square or three quarters of an inch by just under six inches. Um, and basically, I've turned that into that. I went the long way around it. I could have probably wrapped it round and fire welded it together. Um, but the point of this process, um, or this, uh, it's not a challenge really, the exercise is to demonstrate what can be done um, metal work wise and I had done this already and videoed something and I thought well that's not really what I would do I just made a thing um, and I thought well you know what is it that I love about blacksmithing what is it that I would if I could do anything every day god that sounds really sad now that I've said that um, but I would make donuts like this because I love doing this it's an absolutely um, enthralling process which I massively enjoy um, so um, this is um, now going to get machined uh, and the purpose of this is to represent the fact that um, in industry we do this every day this isn't new this isn't um, abnormal we make and forge products that then go away and get machined so that's what I'm doing here I'm making a product that could potentially be a gear or a bushing um, or a, a bearing or something like that and then uh, I'm going to take it and I'm going to machine it and then I'm going to turn it into um, turn it into something that looks mechanical-esque. I'm going to leave some of the forging features on here as much as possible um, but yeah that's basically what I've done here um, and hopefully you enjoyed it and you got to see me mess around with the Massey um, and stuff. So um, I'm going to go to the, uh, to use the uh, lathe at the college. I'm going to video that as well, me using the lathe at the college, uh, and I'll see you guys in a bit. little bit of a random location this one I am currently at Hereford College of Arts it's where I'm helping out I'm doing um, I'm doing a bit of staff supporting um, one of the uh, technical demonstrators here uh, hasn't been very well and I'm looking after helping look after this place while he's not here for whatever reasons where if like hospital stuff and that and whilst he is here um, just supporting him whilst he's here during the day in the mornings he's here with me so we can go over stuff and then in the afternoon it's just me and all the students, so it's great fun. So I'm going to just show you quickly around here and then I'll show you the lathe and everything that's uh, set up. College lathe, um, it's a bit of a tip because um, I was being pulled and pushed all over the place yesterday to try and help students, which isn't a problem, that's why I'm here. But um, what we've got here is the upset piece, which I've got in a four jaw chuck, which was small enough to fit through the center. And then I've held it in the um, <clears throat> I've held it in the chuck on the lathe. It's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to machine this outside face and then this front face and go from there.
Okay, got one. Oh, you can't see anything there. Got one face done. And now I'm going to move on to the front. Let's see. Okay, so it came out pretty good. Um, the whole machine is done now and I'm really happy with it. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, leave your comments down below, let me know what you think. I would also like it if you guys could get involved in the 150 mil challenge. Uh, it's an Instagram thing mostly. Um, so if you search uh, 150 mil challenge, you'll get all the other entries. There's loads of people who've put stuff up. I also some real big names as well. So go and check that out. Um, there'll be a link in the description as well to my Instagram and also to go and see some more of these challenges. Now, I'd like you guys and girls at home to have a go as well. So basically what I want you to do is get a piece of 20 square or three quarter inch square, a uh, mild steel bar, 150 mil or just over under six inches long and forge something out of it. Show us what your practice is, whatever you like. The only rule is you can't add any new material. Um, so this is my last day at the college, I'm leaving now, and um, yeah, everyone else is leaving for Christmas. So um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are already a subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications, because it lets you know every time I make a video, and I make videos as often as possible, about two times a week, and sometimes a live every now and then. Uh, comments down below, let me know what you thought of this little baby. Um, let me know if you're going to have a go at the challenge. I'd love to see your um, your participation. Go and check out the uh, Instagram, and that's everything. So I'll leave a link up here to a previous video where I did something. Another link down here to some tool making. This is my Patreon. Great way to support the channel. And this down here is a subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you later. Bye bye.